MSX is a standardized home computer architecture, first announced by Microsoft on June 16, 1983, conceived and marketed by Kazuhiko Nishi, then Vice President at Microsoft Japan and Director at ASCII Corporation. Nishi conceived the project as an attempt to create unified standards among various hardware makers of the period, they were popular in Japan and several other countries. It is difficult to estimate how many MSX computers were sold worldwide, but eventually 5 million MSX-based units were sold in Japan alone. Despite Microsoft's involvement, the MSX-based machines were seldom released in the United States. Before the great success of Nintendo's family computer, MSX was the platform for which major Japanese game studios, such as Konami and Hudson Soft, produced video games. The Metal Gear series, for example, was originally written for MSX hardware. Name The exact meaning of the MSX abbreviation remains a matter of debate. At the time, most people seemed to agree it meant Microsoft Extended, referring to the built-in Microsoft Extended Basic, MSX Basic, specifically adapted by Microsoft for the MSX system. Another suggested source for the abbreviation was Matsushita Sony. However, according to Kazuhiko Nishi, the team used machines with software exchangeability during its development. In 1985, Kazuhiko Nishi said that he named MSX after the MX missile. Topic: History. In the early 1980s, most home computers manufactured in Japan such as the NEC PC-6001 and PC-8000 series, Fujitsu's FM7 and FM8, and Hitachi's Basic Master featured a variant of the Microsoft Basic interpreter integrated into their onboard ROMs. The hardware design of these computers and the various dialects of their basics were incompatible. Other Japanese consumer electronics firms such as Panasonic, Canon, Casio, Yamaha, Pioneer, and Sanyo were searching for ways to enter the new home computer market. Nishi proposed MSX as an attempt to create a single industry standard for home computers. Inspired by the success of VHS as a standard for video cassette recorders, many Japanese electronic manufacturers along with Goldstar, Philips and Spectravideo built and promoted MSX computers. Any piece of hardware or software with the MSX logo on it was compatible with MSX products of other manufacturers. In particular, the expansion cartridge form and function were part of the standard. Any MSX expansion or game cartridge would work in any MSX computer. Nishi's standard was built around the Spectravideo SV328 computer. The standard consisted primarily of several off-the-shelf parts, the main CPU was a 3.58 MHz Zilog Z80, the Texas Instruments TMS9918 graphics chip with 16 KB of dedicated VRAM, the sound and partial I.O. support was provided by the i38910 chip manufactured by General Instrument and an Intel 8255 programmable peripheral interface chip was used for the parallel I.O. such as the keyboard. This was a choice of components that was shared by many other home computers and games consoles of the period, such as the ColecoVision home computer an emulator was later available with which MSX systems could run some of its software, and the Sega SG-1000 video game system. To reduce overall system cost, many MSX models used a custom IC known as MSX Engine which integrated GLUE logic, 8255 PPI, YM2149 compatible sound chip and more, sometimes even the Z80 CPU. However, almost all MSX systems used a professional keyboard instead of a chiclet keyboard, driving the price up compared to the original SV328. Consequently, these components alongside Microsoft's MSX Basic made the MSX a competitive, though somewhat expensive, home computer package. Topic. Debut On 27 June 1983, the MSX was formally announced during a press conference, and a slew of big Japanese firms declared their plans to introduce machines. The Japanese companies avoided the intensely competitive U.S. home computer market, which was in the throes of a Commodore-led price war. 
Only Spectravideo and Yamaha briefly marketed MSX machines in the US. Spectravideo's MSX enjoyed very little success, and Yamaha's CX5M model, built to interface with various types of MIDI equipment, was billed more as a digital music tool than a standard personal computer. Topic: <laughs> Adoption During the 1980s, Europe became the largest computer games market as opposed to console games in the world, and the extremely popular Commodore 64, Atari 8-bit, and Sinclair ZX Spectrum computers dominated. By the time the MSX was launched in Europe, several more popular 8-bit home computers had also arrived, and it was far too late to capture the extremely crowded European 8-bit computer market. A problem for some game software developers was that the method by which MSX1 computers addressed their video RAM could be quite slow compared to systems that gave direct access to the video memory. This, and the fact that the completely different features the MSX1's video chip using the MSX video access method had to compensate for the slower video access were not efficiently used while porting mostly Spectrum software, made the MSX1 appear slower when running ported games. Some minor compatibility issues also plagued ported Spectrum games. For example, the Toshiba HX10 machine was unable to read certain key combinations at the same time, preventing the Spectrum standard of Q, A, O, P steering. Whereas machines by other manufacturers worked fine. Later ported games tended to use the MSX1 joystick port or used MSX's official arrow keys and space bar, or offered the option to choose other keys with which to control the program, solving the problem. A larger problem was that the designers of the MSX standard bank switching protocol did not prescribe to hardware manufacturers in which banks the cartridges and, more importantly, the RAM should be found. Moreover, the MSX's BIOS did not provide this information either, thus requiring programmers to implement complex routines to find these resources. Often programmers assumed that the RAM and cartridges would be available at a default bank switch location. In reality some systems had their RAM or cartridge slots not at the default location, but at another bank switch location i.e. Toshiba HX20. In those cases programs failed to run because they only saw 32 kilobytes of the available memory, instead of the full 64 kilobytes that almost all MSX1 machines offered. All other mainstream MSX1 machines offered at least the full 64 kilobytes of RAM, with a very few exceptions, such as some early Philips MSX1 models the VG8000 offered 16 kilobytes of RAM and the VG8010, 32 kilobytes or the Casio PV7, a low-budget MSX targeted for playing games, which has only 8 kilobytes. Evolution. MSX spawned four generations, MSX 1983, MSX2 1985, MSX2 Plus 1988, and MSX Turbor 1990. The first three were 8-bit computers based on the Z80 microprocessor, while the MSX Turbor was based on a custom 16-bit R800 microprocessor developed by ASCII Corporation. By the time the MSX Turbor standard was announced in 1990, only Panasonic was manufacturing MSX computers. Its initial model FSA-1 ST met with moderate success, but the upgraded model FSA-1 GT introduced in 1991 sold poorly due to its high retail cost of 99,800 yen. Production of the Turbor ended in 1993 when Panasonic decided to focus on the release of 3DO. The MSX3 was scheduled for market in 1990. Delays in the development of its VDP then named V9978 on the pre release spec sheets caused Yamaha to miss its time to market deadline. In its place, an improved MSX2 Plus was released as the MSX Turbor. Features of the new R800 processor such as DMA and 24-bit addressing were disabled. The VDP was eventually delivered two years after its planned deadline, by which time the market had moved on. In an attempt to reduce its financial loss, Yamaha stripped nearly all V9958 compatibility and marketed the resulting V9990E VDP3 as a video chipset for PC VGA graphic cards, with moderate success. Sony also employed the V7040 RGB encoder chip on many other products. 
MSX Fan Magazine also mentions the then impressive power of the V9990, being able to compete with much more expensive hardware such as Sharps X68000. Topic: Impact. In Japan, South Korea, Argentina, and Brazil, MSX was the paramount home computer system of the 1980s. It was also quite popular in continental Europe, especially in the Netherlands and Spain. Classrooms full of networked Yamaha MSX were used for teaching informatics in schools in some Arab countries, the Soviet Union, and Cuba, where they were wildly popular in all government education schools and centers. However, because MSX never took off in the US and the UK, it never became the worldwide standard that its makers had envisioned. Before MSX's lack of success in these markets became apparent, U.S. manufacturer Commodore Business Machines overhauled its product line in the early 1980s and introduced models such as the Plus, 4 and Commodore 16 that were intended to better compete with the features of MSX computers. As the Cuban government moved to modernize their studies of computer systems in 1985, higher pedagogical institutes and some schools of pre-university education were supplied with Toshiba and Panasonic MSX systems with resident MSX basic language, popularly known as intelligent keyboards. Once they proved useful, the Minister of Education continued the process installing similar systems throughout all secondary junior high centers and finalized it in elementary schools, adult education institutions and newly nationwide formed computer and electronic youth clubs in 1987. Forming the computer clubs allowed the Cuban government to interest and educate the common citizen in computer subjects, since selling these systems, or any other personal private computer, to public was banned. See, censorship in Cuba in the 1980s, soccer SKHR computers developed by Al Alamaya, a Kuwaiti company, started the production of the first Arabic version of MSX computers. They started producing a Yamaha AX100 and a few other models, including MSX2 and MSX2+. The most popular and affordable model within Arab states of the Persian Gulf was the Soccer MSX AX170. They were also the first to Arabize BASIC and the MSX logo. Al Alamaya produced other common models, including AX100, AX123, AX150, AX170, AH200, AX200, AX230, AX235, AX250, AX330, AX350i, AX350ii, AX355, AX370. AX500, AX550, AX660, and AX990. The only MSX console with a Famicom game slot in the MSX computer is AX330. The user can switch between MSX and Famicom modes by pressing a button on the back of the computer. The other variants, which are compatible with the Sega Mega Drive, are the AX660 and AX990. Sega Master System PAL cartridges are playable with AX660, and AX990 if both the TV game computer cartridge converter and Master System converter are attached at the same time, connecting the Sega Master System cartridge to the game inlet in the computer. Attaching only the Master System converter to play Sega Master cartridges on the AX660, or AX990 is not possible because of the inlet depth and the physical shape of the Master System converter that prevent the converter from being attached correctly to the AX660 and AX990 computers. Many MSX computers were used during the 1980s in the former Eastern Bloc countries as a tool for subtitling pirated films on VHS, or Betamax cassettes. The MSX computers were used for their simplicity and ability to display prepared titles in real time as superimposed text on mastering tapes. The MSX arrived in Argentina in late 1984. The most popular model was the Talent MSX DPC 200, based on the Daewoo MSX DPC 200. Other models were the Spectravideo SVI 728 and the SVI Express, with a 3.5 built-in drive. Later on came the Toshiba and smaller numbers of Gradiente models from Brazil. In late 1987, Talent presented the MSX2 TPC310 Turbo in the Argentine market. Turbo was just a name, not referring to MSX2+, also based on Daewoo design. 
The MSX was as highly successful a computer in Argentina as was the Commodore 64, thanks to its use in education at the national level. The MSX logo language was widely used in schools. MSXII Plus never made it to the market in Argentina and MSX production ceased in 1990. In total, 9 million MSX computers were sold in Japan, making it relatively popular but still not the global standard it was intended to be. In comparison with rival 8-bit computers, the Commodore 64 sold 17 million units worldwide in its lifetime, the Apple II sold 6 million units, the ZX Spectrum over 5 million units, the Atari 8-bit sold at least 4 million units, the Amstrad CPC sold 3 million units, and the Tandy TRS-80 Model 1 sold 250,000 units. A Sony MSX2 machine was launched into space on board of a Russian Mir spacecraft. One professional broadcast video workstation was based on Sony Hitbit HBF 900 MSX2 computer. Topic: <laughs> Similar systems. The system MSX most closely resembled was the SpectraVideo SV328 home computer. SpectraVideo even claimed to be MSX compatible. In advertisements before the actual launch of MSX systems, but it was in fact not completely compatible with it. This led to a new and short-lived kind of software cracking, converting. Since the MSX games were unplayable on the SV328 computer, SV328 crackers developed a method of modifying the MSX games to make them work on the SV328. In most cases this included downloading the MSX BIOS to the SV328 from tape or floppy disk. SpectraVideo later launched the SV728 which completely adhered to the MSX standard. The Sega SG-1000, the Memotech MTX and the ColecoVision all have many similarities with the MSX-1 standard, but none are really compatible with it. Porting games between those systems is somewhat easy. It was also very common to port games from the ZX Spectrum to the MSX, since both have the same CPU, the Spectrum 128 had the same sound chip, and the ZX Spectrum's graphic mode could be easily emulated on the MSX's Screen 2 mode. <laughs> Localization By default MSX machines have a hard-coded character set and keyboard scan code handling algorithm. While MSX has full application software compatibility at the firmware BIOS level, due to minor hardware differences, replacement of the BIOS with another from different PC may render incorrect scan code translations and thus incorrect behavior of the keyboard subsystem for the application software. In 2011 Age Labs introduced language pack firmware, aiming to make each model support several localizations. By default installed into GR8BIT instead of the kanji ROM, it allows changing the character set and keyboard layout of the machine at startup. This allowed changing between Japanese, Russian, international and Portuguese locales, and the ability to change locales during machine operation using newly introduced basic command lang. Selected locale setting is stored into the unused RTC NVRAM memory space. Topic: Revivals. Topic: 2001 revival in 2001, Kazuhiko Nishi initiated a MSX revival around an official MSX emulator called MSX Player. This is the only official MSX emulator as all MSX copyrights are maintained by the MSX Association. In 2004, a Dutch company Basix announced they had become the representatives of MSX Association in Europe, being the English contact for any questions regarding the MSX trademarks, copyrights, and licensing. On October 17, 2006, Basix launched WOOMB.net, a website selling MSX games in English and other languages, with a selection of 14 games. In Japan, game sales began earlier, through Project Egg. WOOMB.net was the English counterpart of this and other Japanese services offered by D4 Enterprise, which also announced in August 2006 the launch of a new MSX2 compatible system called the One Chip MSX, a system based on an Altera Cyclone EP1C12Q240C8 FPGA. 
The One Chip MSX is similar in concept to the C1, a Commodore 64 clone also built on the basis of a single FPGA chip. The new MSX system is housed in a box made out of transparent blue plastic, and can be used with a standard monitor or TV and a PC keyboard. It has two MSX cartridge slots and supports the audio extensions MSX Music and SCC+. A SD, MMC flashcard can be used as an external storage medium, emulating a disk drive and can be used to boot MSX DOS. Due to its VHDL programmable hardware, it is possible to give the device new hardware extensions simply by running a reconfiguration program under MSX DOS. The One Chip MSX also has two USB connectors that can be used after adding some supporting VHDL code. On June 7, 2008, the MSX Resource Center Foundation reported that the MSX trademark had moved from MSX Association to the MSX Licensing Corporation, referring to a Benelux trademark register page of MSX, which names the MSX Licensing Corporation as entitled entity till 28 October 2013. At that time, the website of the MSX Licensing Corporation that they linked to as source, had a text saying, We are planning to revitalize MSX, the innovative computer platform, on it. However, the website was later changed to contain only the logo of ITNY and Partners, and a link to ITNY and Partners English and Japanese websites and has no mention of the MSX Licensing Corporation at all. On June 26, 2008, Basics reported on their website's front page that they are no longer the representative of MSX Association, due to being unable to achieve their goals of bringing about the commercial MSX revival beyond the Japanese borders and the transfer of the MSX trademark from MSX Association to MSX Licensing Corporation and no outlook on any progress in the Western One Chip MSX project anytime soon. As a result of this, WOOMB Net is taken offline as well, with its website redirecting to the BASICS website, until a solution free of MSX Association's contributions has been completed. According to their post, they will cooperate with D4 Enterprise and the MSX Licensing Corporation in one or more retro gaming related projects. On July 4, 2008, MSX Association's European Contact website, which states to be the only official contact place for MSX Association in Europe, reports that the MSX trademark and copyright has been under the MSX Licensing Corporation holding ever since 1983. It explains that MSX Association, chaired by Dr. Kazuhiko Nishi is the operational division of MSX Licensing Corporation which manages the trademarks, logo and copyrights for MSX. According to the same article, D4 Enterprise refused to pay royalties to MSX Association for the use of SA Artists Factory's work in one chip MSX and the software licenses in Project Egg, thus they deal with Kazuhiko Nishi directly through the MSX Licensing Corporation. The article mentions as well the SA MSX System 3, on which the one chip MSX also known as one chip MSX or OCM is based. On July 5, 2008, the MSX Association's Europe website posted an announcement reporting that D4 Enterprise was selling the one-chip MSX illegally. In the same post it is stated that BASICS no longer is their representative in Europe, due to BASICS cutting off their relationship. <laughs> 2011 revival In 2011, Age Labs announced the launch of a MSX kit called GR8BIT, the do-it-yourself computer for learning purposes, which was licensed by the MSX Licensing Corporation. The kit is priced at $499 and includes all necessary components to assemble a working MSX2 compatible computer, except for an ATX chassis, power supply, floppy drive, hard disk, PS2 keyboard and monitor. It also comes with assembly and operational manuals and a supplement compiled from vendor and community support from the GR8BIT engineering community. Topic 2014 revival. Some of the Korean forum members who made Zemix Neo created a new version of MSX called Mini IQ 3000 QD, which has similar features to the IQ 2000 MSX2. Made in Korea. Daewoo Electronics it is based on one chip MSX but has some special features like scan line generator and multi-language support. 
The scan line generator generates scan lines to show the MSX screen with better quality. It supports two languages at the same time. Normally it shows Korean font and working as Korean version of MSX but when pressing the Del key while booting, it changes to Japanese mode. Even though the default mode is Korean, the default font allocation table is Japanese, as it shows Japanese characters when executing Japanese version software. <laughs> <laughs> Franchises established on the MSX The most popular and famous MSX games were written by Japanese software houses such as Konami and Hudson Soft. Several popular video game franchises were initially established on the MSX. Antarctic Adventure and Penguin Adventure Aleste and Zanak the latter developed and released alongside the original FDS version. Bomberman Eggerland Metal Gear Paradius Puyo Puyo There's received various installments on the MSX, including several titles unique to the system or largely reworked versions of games on other formats. Castlevania as Vampire Killer, Contra, Dragon Quest, Dragon Slayer, Final Fantasy, Gradius, Nemesis, R Type, Wizardry, Zack, Zevius, Fardrout Saga, Wise. Topic. Manufacturers MSX Spectravideo, Philips, Al Alamaya, Sony, Sanyo, Mitsubishi, Toshiba, Hitachi, National, Panasonic, Canon, Casio, Pioneer, Fujitsu General, Yamaha, JVC, Yashica Kyocera, Goldstar, Samsung, Fenner, Daewoo, Yeno, Gradiente, Sharp, Epcom, Talent. MSX2 Philips, Sony, Sanyo, Mitsubishi, Victor aka JVC, Toshiba, National, Panasonic, Canon, Yamaha, ACVS, Seal Asterisk, DDX Asterisk, Daewoo, Yeno, NTT, Talent. MSX2 Plus Sony, Sanyo, Panasonic, ACVS, Seal Asterisk, DDX Asterisk MSX Turbo Panasonic do it yourself MSX Age Labs Note Asterisk Clones or Unlicensed Equipment Topic System Specifications Topic Peripherals Topic. Keyboard Keyboard is a functionally separate unit which could be connected by non-multiplexed and multiplexed interfaces. Multiplexed keyboard units feature additional data direction line, allowing sending scan line number to the keyboard using same data lines used for return scan code, decreasing overall number of wires between keyboard and machine. Non-multiplexed interface is usually used for internal keyboards and some external keyboards, like Panasonic CF3300. Multiplexed interface is used for external keyboards, e.g. in Yamaha YIS805 model. Keyboard is organized as a matrix with maximum 11 input lines and 8 output lines, accounting for maximum 88 keys, including all control, numerical and alphanumerical keys. Each scan line is regularly queried to identify the state of the keys on the line. Query speed is identified by the system interrupt frequency. Such organization allows system to sense state of each key, not exhibiting notorious problem with 8042 microcontroller based keyboards when pressing several keys simultaneously, usually more than three, generates wrong input characters, or renders inability to sense the press of more keys. Due to the keyboard scan being controlled by the system interrupts, one of the troubleshooting hints when an MSX machine does not display any image assuming power is present is to press the CAPS key to see if the respective LED toggles. If it does not toggle, the system is likely suffering a more serious problem than just lack of image on the screen i.e. the problem with video cable or video display interface and overall. In 2009 Camille Karamov designed the adapter board to connect PS2 keyboard to the multiplexed MSX keyboard interface. 
The firmware embedded into its Atini chip was tailored for Daewoo CPC machines. In 2011 Age Labs embedded a PS2 keyboard controller unit, based on microchip microcontroller, into its GR8 BIT do-it-yourself machine. Its firmware is developed to directly convert PS2 scan codes to the MSX keyboard scan codes. Thus it is fully transparent to the applications, allowing use of the controller unit with different MSX compatible machines and for different localization setups. Topic: <coughs> Cartridges. MSX standard requires at least one cartridge slot. Most MSX models have two. These slots are interchangeable, so in most cases it makes no difference in which slot a cartridge is inserted. The physical connector is a 50-pin contacts, standard 2.54 mm pitch-edge connector. Using these cartridge slots, a wide variety of peripherals could be connected. Regular game cartridges are about the size of an audio cassette so-called Konami size. Despite their higher cost, this was a popular format due to its reliability and ease of use. Around 1985, Hudson Soft released the credit card-sized B card, which was meant as a cheaper and more convenient alternative to ROM cartridges. But it was a commercial failure, and very few titles were released on the format. Source files for development of the MSX cartridges are available from Age Labs for Eagle. Topic. Floppy disk drives MSX systems generally did not have a built-in disk drive, so games were published mainly on cartridge and cassette tape. Sony created a battery-backed RAM cartridge the HBI-55 data cartridge for some computers in their hit bit line of MSX systems, that could be used to store programs or data as an alternative to cassette tapes. Floppy disk drives were available for MSX however, in the form of a cartridge containing the disk interface electronics and a BIOS extension ROM the floppy disk drive interface, connected to an external case with the drive. In South America, many of these systems used a 5.25-in mm floppy disk drive, but in Europe, 3.5-in mm drives were more popular. In Japan, some MSX-1 systems included a built-in 3.5 disk drive, like the Panasonic previously named Matsushita CF3000. In Europe, a range of Philips MSX2 systems NMS 8230, 8235, 8245, 8250 and above featured either 360 or 720 kilobits 3.5 floppy drives. In 1985, the MSX2 was released, and these systems often but not always included a built-in 3.5 disk drive too. Consequently the popular media for games and other software shifted to floppy disks. The MSX DOS disk operating system had internal software mechanisms much like CP.M, so CP.M software could be ported reasonably easily, but had a file system compatible with MS-DOS. Its user commands were also similar to early MS-DOS versions. In this way, Microsoft could promote MSX for home use while promoting MS-DOS based personal computers in office environments. The MSX 3.5 floppy disks are directly compatible with MS-DOS, although some details like file undeletion and boot sector code were different. Like MS-DOS 1, MSX disks formatted under MSX DOS 1 have no support for subdirectories. In September 2012, Age Labs extended the standard by including support for 1.44 megabits 3.5 format. The 1.44 megabits diskette size goes in two configurations: standard, one sector per cluster, nine FAT sectors, and compatible, four sectors per cluster, three FAT sectors. Topic. MSX Audio Yamaha Y8950, commercially released as Panasonic, MSX Audio FSCA1 32 kilobits of sample RAM, 32 kilobytes of audio ROM Philips, Music Module NMS1205 32 kilobytes of sample RAM, no MSX Audio BIOS Toshiba, MSX FM Synthesizer Unit HXMU900 No sample RAM, no MSX audio BIOS 
9 channels FM or 6 channels FM plus 5 drums. YM3526 compatible. ADPCM record and play, with hardware acceleration. Can be upgraded to 256 kilobytes of sample RAM. Topic: <laughs> MSX Music. Yamaha YM2413 OPLL, also known as MSX Music, standard name. Panasonic FM Pack. Zamina Music Box. Checkmark FM Stereo Pack. DDX, FMX Technobytes, FM Sound Stereo contains the compatible U3567 chip 9 channels FM or 6 channels FM plus 5 drums 15 pre-set instruments, 1 custom Built-in on most MSX2 Plus and as standard on MSX Turbo computers <laughs> Emulation. MSX computers are emulated on many platforms today. Early MSX emulators were often based on the code of the Pioneer FMSX, a portable MSX emulator by Merit Faisalin. Many emulators removed Faisalin's Z80 emulation code entirely in later versions to avoid legal problems, as at the time FMSX wasn't free software. Somewhat later FMSX source code became free to use for non-profit use, however a license was still required for commercial use. On December 31, 2013, the Windows version of FMSX 3.7 was released, free for anyone to use. The official MSX emulator MSX Player in Japanese is produced by the MSX Association, of which the inventor of the MSX standard, Kazuhiko Nishi, is the president. As a version 0.146, U, MS currently supports 90% of all MSX versions. Topic. Virtual Console In February 2007, Nintendo of Japan announced that MSX games will be available for the Wii's Virtual Console emulator. It was confirmed that the games would cost 700 Wii points and will become available from the middle of 2007. It also became available for the Wii U on December 25, 2013. Ultimately 13 games, mainly Konami titles, for the Wii plus one for the Wii U were released for the service in Japan only. See also MSX character sets List of MSX games History of computing hardware Moonsound Symbos Zemix Canon V20